Wow, that's a lot of keys. Bigger the keychain, more powerful the man. That's right. Janitor said that. By the way, the raccoons are back. Where? I think they run through these panels and then down into the map. I wouldn't know for sure, because I don't have a trained ear. That's why I have to use one of these. Give me that. Yep. Wait. And this. Yes. Go get them. What happened to me this summer? Dwight bought the building, so actually this has been the busiest summer of my life. <laughs> hey, what's so funny over here? Ha, ah, very nice. Give me my keys. Ha, ha, not funny, Jim. Sorry. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I was just gonna put a couple keys on every day until Christmas, and his pants would've fallen down, which was a little gift to me, but. It was really funny. Well, it would've been. So unprofessional, Mrs. Halpern. I love you. Oh, yeah. This'll be easy. So just like rearrange the buttons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like when he presses door closed, the doors open, or he presses lobby, it goes to the third floor, stuff like that. Can you do that? Yeah. Let me take a look at the circus board. Dwight is about to get so pammed. Hey, did you SMS text message me? Yeah, I wanted to show you something in the lobby. Uh, come on. Okay, that's weird. Hmm. Just hitting door closed. What? There we go. What? Good. Is this elevator going up? Mm hmm? Hey, the elevator's disobeying us! Okay, okay, we are stuck. We are um... stuck. Hank, Hank, can you hear us? Oh my god, okay, okay emergency just, protocol. Just, um, just calm down. Pam, try and pry open those front doors. Immediately. I don't... Use your talons! Pry them open! <laughs> okay, why? Oh my god! Well, don't look, freak! Dwight, what are you doing? What? We've only been in here for like two seconds. I got 56 ounces of fluid in my bladder, and we have to establish a pee corner. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Ooh, nice. Wasting time. Here we go. Hey, back off. It's solitaire. Hey, kid. Here you're looking for work. Talk to me. How far can you reach those lovely long arms here? Yeah, put them down. How long can you hold that pretty little breath of yours? Good. Hey, Jim. Are you distracting these people? We're working. Can you at least try to look busy? The moment Darla put the cupcake in her mouth, her daddy pulled her aside and said, you're too fat. No one's gonna like you if you're too fat. Next time I saw David Geffen was at the Buffalo Club. I love you, you gay bastard, I said. You gay bastard, I said. Game. Game. Gabe Lewis. Now listen here, Gabe. You're too fat. No one's gonna like you if you're too fat. I made some changes to my book. See if you like them. What? Now Chill. I love reading and I hate being interrupted. Shut up and listen, you gay bastard. Chapter one. I was born. Not into luxury nor poverty, but into adversity. And for that, I thank the Lord. My father was a man. That's all we can know. After I learned to ride a bike, there was no stopping me. I would ride up Magnolia Street and down Azalea Lane, which would later become my paper All right, good night, Gabe. I just wanted to say thanks again, because I really think I made good use of my day. Oh. wherever I wanted. I have always been a fighter, and fate has obliged me with plenty of battles. The first being a... What is this? How did those get out? I'm sorry. Professor Copperfield's Miracle Legumes? I was in Jamaica, and I got lost. And it was getting dark this one night, and then out of nowhere, this guy comes with a cart, and he's selling these. Dwight, he told me things about myself that there's no way he could have known. Mm, that's a common swindler's trick. Probably. Probably. So I buy some. I turn the corner. I feel like an idiot. So I go back to get my money, he was gone. 
So you want to sell me magic beans? <laughs> Correction, I do not want to sell you Professor Copperfield's miracle legumes. Nice try. No, correction. Terrible try. <laughs> Jim, put those away. I'm really sorry. Pam must have put those up. All right, just out of curiosity, what were the claims for those beans? They're legumes, Dwight. And you're just gonna make fun of me, so why would I? You know what? This ends now. Nice. I know, right? <laughs> what the? Oh my god. That... That's impossible. It is, right? I mean, it's impossible. <sighs> All right, I'll take them. They're probably worthless. Probably. Leave the telescope. I started with a thumbtack and traded my way to a telescope. But in a way, the most valuable thing here wasn't the telescope at all. No. It was this packet of beans. So I traded the telescope for it. And I can, I can just go buy another telescope. So you two are married now, right? Yeah. That's sweet. How's the sex? Yeah. Hey, Packer. Huh? I made you some hot chocolate. Why? Because I want to let bygones be bygones. Show you I'm cool. You're the new guy. It's cold out. I made too much. I got this awesome hot chocolate recipe for my wife. That's a lot of reasons. Drink it. I think I'll pass. The only hot chocolate I'm into is Vivica A. Fox. Can I talk to you for a second? Here. OK. OK. So this hot chocolate thing with Packer... None of your business. Well, you know you can't actually poison them, right? It isn't poison. It's a laxative. People take laxatives all the time. This is just a lot more of a laxative. Let me handle it. I really think we should join forces on this one. Really? What do we think? What would drive him crazy? I know. Here we go. Pepto-Bismol in his hot chocolate. You have got to stop with the hot chocolate stuff. I was thinking maybe we could jam his drawers so that they only come out two inches, and then that way you can see everything in them, but you can't get at it. Does Edgar Allan Poe know about that one? So sinister. <laughs> that wouldn't annoy a person at all. Where do, you, where do you come up with this stuff? Okay. All right, well, this isn't my best, but call Froggy 101. Say that we're the tour manager for Justin Bieber, and we're giving away free tickets. We give him a number to call for the tickets, and it's his number. Who is Justice Bieber? It's a crime-fighting beaver. Why don't you write up your best 40 ideas and email them to me? Can you do that? Absolutely. I'll okay. email you 100. Yeah. Write up your list of 100, edit it down to your top 40, and I'll read it over. There are 400 of these. Yeah, I couldn't cut it down. They're all good. So good. Number three, eat a frog. That sounds promising. Number four, eat a dog. I don't know um, from a practical standpoint. 135. That's... Did you like 135? Eat a brog. Maybe it's because I didn't understand it. I just had a couple of notes. Let me grab a pen and... Good. Damn it. Ah, just when we were... Just when we were getting going. Hey, it's snowing. Oh my God. It's the first snowfall of Christmas. Is that just so magical for you, little girl? Can you not wait to have a hot chocolate and cuddle up with Papa and tell him about all your Christmas dreams? Hmm? It's not even real snow. Look, it's dusting. It's pitiful. Hey, Dwight. 
Oh. 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 Damn it, Jim, you cannot throw snowballs in here. Well, it's not a snowball, because it's only a dusting, right? Look at that. There's a pebble in there. You could have killed me. Oh, don't be such a baby. Yeah, who's a little girl now? <laughs> you apologize to me right now. There's something on your nose. You apologize right now. No. Very well. Then I challenge you to a snowball fight on the first real snow of winter. You got it. That sounds awesome. Can we all do it? No, Andy, it's a snowball fight. It's not fun. Go get your own thing. You've reached the voicemail of Dwight Kurt Schrute. Please leave... I have no feeling in my fingers or penis, but I think it was worth it. Oh. Ah! Um. I'm sorry. I had no idea. No, it's, it's okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh god. No, 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 no. Okay, this is it. What? Go. What? What is this? What? Go, go. This? Oh my god! Uh. Uh. Honey! Uh. Uh. In the end, the greatest snowball isn't a snowball at all. It's fear. Merry Christmas. <laughs>